Hey guys, so today we're going to be finding the in center for a not a acute, well, not obtuse, but a right triangle. So let's get on with this, shall we? There, there, and there. Now let's get the exact measurement. There, and then move it around so we actually do have the measurement that we need. This might take a while. Oh, there we go. Exactly 90 degrees. <laughs> Alright. So, now to find the end center, we're going to have to move around, not move around, we're going to have to bisect all the angles, angle A, C, and B. So let's get on with that. So we have our handy dandy angle bisecting tool. Angle A first, then angle B, then angle C. Now that we've bisected each angle, and since we've bisected each angle, that means that the two angles produced from bisecting the original angles, such as these two lovely angles produced by bisecting angle A, that they would be congruent. Let's mark that. This also accounts for every other angle that's been bisected, such as B, And C. And since it's a right triangle, you can get the exact measurement for angle C, where the two angles reduced by bisecting angle C since the original angle was 90. This would be 45, and this would be 45. Now, since we've bisected each angle and created a line showing that we've bisected it, can now find the in center, which is the concurrent the point of concurrency or the intersection of three lines of the angle bisectors of a triangle, which we have found and we have drawn up here. And the point will be right here, because this is where it all intersects. And this is the in center of a right triangle of this right triangle. Hope this was helpful for you, and see you next time.